so glad you're doing this with me. I'm so happy. <clears throat> mm-hmm. But then we have another video. So I can sit like this. Yep. You sure can. Okay, when you're talking, let's put the words. You can look at, look at me and then look at the both. And if you agree with something, just shake your head and be like, hey, man, that's right. Or, you know, you know, just feed off of me a little bit. Okay, lean into your mic. No, nope, not yet. Jeez. Just have fun, okay? We're having fun. What? What did you say? It is fun. You're a part of the movie. Wait! Stop! Don't do that. And the blood still works. The blood still saves. What we need is a brand new generation of blood pleaders. We have the right to never walk in fear again. You ought to let the devil know I win in a week, but I come out strong. Just start taking little steps. Start small. Start now. It ain't about race. It ain't about creed. It's about the kingdom of God. Come on, somebody. Get up on your feet right now. And let God restore your character. Good morning, everyone. I hope that you are having a tremendous Friday. Welcome to Stronger Every Day, where the coffee is strong, but the Word of God makes us stronger. Thank you for joining us on the show today. I absolutely have one of my favorite people in the whole wide world, my beautiful wife. And uh, she is here today, and uh, we want to welcome her to the show. Can you say hi to everyone this morning? Hi, everybody. Hope you're having a great day today. Man, we're uh, so glad that she's here, so glad that she's uh, on the show with us today. And uh, we're going to be taking questions and answers. You can ask her any question that you want. You can ask me any question that you want. Uh, I'm going to give you three quick things uh, on the show today about the promises of God, and then we're going to get right in to the show. If you've not had a chance to follow us on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, um, and Snapchat, please do so. Uh, please follow us. Uh, we want to make sure that you can uh, be connected to the ministry, be connected to what's going on. And uh, this is the brains that makes the bus drive. Uh, I am the voice. I am the guy that preaches and ministers. But every good thing that happens in this ministry is with this wonderful lady beside me today. All your wonderful newsletters, all the updates, the flyers, all of those beautiful things that you see uh, that makes this ministry look so well, it is done by none other than the perfect uh, Crystal Strong. And so I want to thank her for joining us today. And uh, isn't it a beautiful day so far? It's a beautiful day today. It is. Uh, it's my favorite time of the year. Favorite time of the year is fall, and uh, we are just here. We're having a wonderful time, and uh, do me a favor, if you can, share this uh, show with everyone, and uh, hey, Rebecca, good to see you, uh, Gene, good to see you, Nathaniel, good to see all of you guys. Go ahead and share the show. Let everybody know. Sh hit the share button. Say, Crystal is on the show with Brother Sean. <laughs> Let everybody know it, and uh, we want to get her as much advertisement as possible. Uh, just so you know, uh, my wife has a wonderful business called Strong 31 Threads, and uh, would you like to just take a minute and tell everybody what you do for your business? Sure. So I can do custom t-shirts. So if you have a saying that you like or a design that you like, I can put that on a t-shirt for you. I also do a little bit of coffee cups and what else? You do masks hats. and, ma and masks hats. and hats. Yeah, masks. And, uh, I can she do does masks. she does everything like that. And uh, this woman right here is one of the most uh, if I could say anything about my wife, she is one of one of the most gracious people that I've ever known in my whole life. She is uh, grace uh, exceeds and exuberates in her life, and uh, we want to uh, let that be a part of this show today. Uh, and if you're going through anything, please let us know uh, at the at the towards the end of the show. We're going to uh, we're going to take prayer requests, answer any questions about anything. If you want to ask about uh, how awesome a cook Crystal is, she is. She can give you ideas on Pinterest and all kinds of stuff. She is uh, she is amazing. So uh, yes, decals, Carol. That's right. We can. She can do decals yeah. and stuff like that for the car. Uh, I want to talk to you guys. Um, I want to talk to you guys just a couple of minutes um, before. 
uh, we get into the questions and prayer requests and answers. Um, I, I've been talking about confessions all of, all week and kind of letting you know. Next week, I'm going to do a week of hope. Uh, I really want to talk about how hope is so needed right now in our nation, mm-hmm. so needed right now in our country, so needed right now in our churches and in our pulpits. And, uh, you know, sometimes I don't think that we realize um, how hopeful uh, that we are in this nation and in this generation um, with with all of our all of our family all of our friends you know there's hope uh, for us that's happening right now and I want to talk to you guys about a few things and I want to tell you and uh, you know how the rule goes we put all of these in the comment section and uh, I, I want you to write a few things down today I, I kind of jotted some things down earlier yesterday and uh, just kind of getting through some things and I want to I want to tell you why I know that confessions work and the Word of God works and the first thing that I want to tell you is that you're you're never going to go backwards with God and you're always going to go forward with God and I, I want to tell you guys that that's a real important thing and uh, make sure you're looking that way so the audience can see you and say hello and see your beautiful face. And so we're, we're kind of doing some camera training around here. She's supposed to be looking at a mark, but uh, she's kind of glancing over at me, and I think she's trying to feed off of me. So, uh, but, but one of the things, uh, what, what can you say like in our lives? We've always just seen God be so progressive, you know, from the time that we started in full-time ministry and, uh, you know, all the way up till now. Can you think of a story or think of a time or think of a testimony that you think that God has done for us in always going forward? We've never went backwards. We've always went forward. What's a What would be a good thing for you to, to, to share with the people and, and just, you know, share that, you know, maybe, maybe from your heart saying, man, you know, I remember a time when we didn't have this and this happened or, you know, something, something big in your life that reminds you that God has always taken us forward. Well, the main thing that I can think of right now would be like with our finances for sure, because traveling ministry, you know, is not a steady income. Right. And so I look back over the years of how we've grown in that. And how God has always provided for us whenever we've needed it. Amen. Um, I think about from where we started to where we are now. And there are some times where you may look back and be like, well, how did we even make it? And it's because of God's provision. And God's always provided for us what we needed. Right. And continues to do so. You know, uh, I'm reminded of um, I'm reminded of it. It, it just seems, I, I know it sounds crazy, but in this pandemic, you know, I I. I mean, I think we had what seven or eight cancellations, mm-hmm. and uh, you know we 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 you know we did we did some things we we believed God in some areas, and it was like it was like things just happened. And just the other day, we got a surprise harvest in the mail, right? And it was it was amazing, you know. Right. Yeah, keep talking in the mic, and uh, we it, it's amazing to me that. How, you know, just just looking at that and saying, "Man, how you know we didn't we didn't plan for it, we didn't trust right. it, but we never go backwards with God. We're always going forward, and I think that's a huge huge thing in our lives. And what and what God is wanting to do with us is remind us that you're never going forward. You're always going, you know, you're always going uh, to progress in God. He never goes backward. He always goes forward. And the next thing I want to tell you is that your destiny is determined by his word. You know, uh, your destiny is not determined by your feelings. Your destiny is not determined by what you're going through. Your destiny is not determined by the frustrations that you see in your life, but your destiny is determined by the word of God that is so richly awesome in your life. And so I want to encourage you guys to really build your foundation upon the word of God, not upon your feelings, not upon your situation, not upon your circumstances, but but really going going and understanding that your destiny is not determined by your circumstance, but it's determined by the word of God. You know, and uh, and I think that we've got to really remember in the midst of that, you know, Acts chapter 10, 34, and, you know, uh, I think it's Acts 10, uh, 3, 4, and 5. It reminds us that, you know, uh, I think it's 34, 35, or 4, and 5. I can't remember. I'd have to go back and look. But, you know, he's no respecter of persons. James 17 is the same thing. He's no respecter of persons. You know, I, I talked a little bit about it yesterday. I think so many times we look at people in the Bible 
And we think of people being, oh my gosh, Elijah was so special. You know, Peter was so special. Paul was so special. But you really think about it, they weren't the most special people. You know, uh, Elijah, you know, was so depressed at one point that he wanted to commit suicide. But God used him. You know, Peter cussed lied, you know, denied Jesus three times and then, you know, and then runs away from all of these people because he's a, a, a point of a, a, just basically a coward. But yet God uses him on the day of Pentecost. Paul is killing Christians. Mm -hmm. He's not a special right. person. He's not a guy that is looking to be the, the best person ever, but he is, he is this guy that's killing Christians and Jesus meets him on the road to Damascus and changes his life forever. Right. God is no respecter of persons. God will find you where you are. And so I want to just share with you three three quick things, actually four quick things, and I'm going to go really fast today because I want to, I don't want to keep the broadcast too long or the show too long, but uh, God is a rewarder of them who diligently seek him. And I, that's the first one I want I want to put in there. Hello, Pastor Tommy. Good to see you. Uh, and and I want I want to tell you that you know we have to seek God in this time. I believe right now God is God is sending an invitation to His people, and uh, and I believe that He's sending an invitation for us to seek His face. What's your favorite way to seek God? Well, for me. You may not like this answer. No, it's okay. <laughs> Why would I like the answer? <laughs> well, I'm really into like praise and worship, which I know that the word of God is, you know, Trump's praise and worship, but I really am into worship. And so like for me, um, I like to put on some worship music and then just get lost in God's presence. And That's right. That's, that's, you know, uh, you know, number one, I love your answer. Uh, number two, uh, I, I want to tell you that it's it's really important to understand that you know uh, back back. This is my office, but just behind me is a shop right behind me, and in that shop I have a toolbox that has a bunch of tools. But I have a favorite tool, but it doesn't mean the other tools don't help me get the other part of the right. job completed. And so that's just adding. Right. You know, there's so many ways that you can seek God. Is there any wrong way to really seek God? Right. Uh, I think the word has to be your foundation. It's everything. It's it's the one thing. It's the number one tool in the toolbox. But it doesn't mean that praise and worship, right. prayer, fasting, uh, honoring God, honoring your spouse, honoring people. That that doesn't mean those tools don't work. It's just those other tools are used at the same time. So God is a rewarder of them who diligently seek Him. Here's the next thing I want to tell you is that the promises of God, which is the Word of God, they bring you life. And and I want to tell you that uh, you know um, we 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 had kind of a little funny the other day. <laughs> so I asked Crystal what was her favorite verse. In the whole Bible. And uh, it was kind of a funny. And uh, she gave me a verse. And so <laughs> she said this verse. And her, her favorite verse is Ephesians, or one of her favorites is Ephesians 3.20, which is, you know, now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we can ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. And uh, that's one of her favorite verses. And so, so I, we were just talking. I was like, what's your favorite verse in the Bible? And she's like, Galatians 3.20. <laughs> and so I turned it over to Galatians 3.20. First I said 5.20. Oh, yeah. She said 5.20 first. <laughs> so I turned it over there, and I was like, and I read some weird thing. I was like, this is your favorite verse? And she's like, no, that's not it. Maybe it's maybe it's 3.20. <laughs> so I turned it back over, and, and, it was, and I was like, are you meaning Ephesians 3.20? And she's like, yeah, that's it, Ephesians 3.20. And so, uh, and so. So that's, you know, but but she's a worshiper as well. So she knows the word. She knows the presence of God. But she was, you know, I, I just was reminded when she said that verse that, you know, the promises of God bring that to life. And and one of the things that I, I love about uh, Crystal, I love about her passion for God. Uh, she's led my kids in a, in, a, in a great area of living for God. Uh, when we're not home, she makes sure they're in church. When, when I'm not, when I'm traveling, you know, when, when I'm, I'm out and about, she makes sure that, you know, the, the ministry part is taken care of, but she's a worshiper and she's also standing on the word of God. And I want to encourage you guys that those promises bring that to life. Here's the next thing I want to tell you. The promises ensure that you'll get what others won't get. And, uh, and I know that sounds crazy, but you know, you're going to get what others won't get because you're in God. Just be, when you're following God, favor follows you. 
and uh, favor follows you. And so I want to I want to tell you guys that you know God is God is going to do things for you that He wouldn't normally do for other people because you're in covenant with Him. Right. And and I want to encourage you guys and tell you that the promises of God and the Word of God. Uh, you know, they make those things available to you and the heathen, you know, it may look like they're, you know, for a minute that they're, they're blessed, but let that, that's going to run out. And, uh, you know, and, and that also, that also lets you understand that, you know, God, God cares about seeds and, and harvest and they may sow good seeds to people and get a good harvest. Because God's going to honor that, whether they're saved or not, because he can't lie. But you get to be a part of things that God will never, like a healing in your body, you know, a, a restoration in your family. You know, when everybody else's world's falling apart, God is going to allow you to to receive those promises and let the promises of God become alive to you because God is going to honor you more than he's going to honor other people. The promises of God Make sure you write that. You're going to get what other people don't get. And um, and I just want to make that clear that, you know, you, you get a hand and a favor that you will not get from anyone else other than God. And that's a powerful thing. And uh, can you think of a time that God's given you favor? And uh, remember a time that God's given you favor and, uh, you know... Uh, just, just think about, think about things or, you know, maybe you got, uh, uh, the other day, uh, you know, uh, there was something that had happened and I think um, an order mis was misplaced in your life oh, and, yeah. uh, and all of a sudden you got it. And then another order came yeah. and, uh, just things like little bitty things like that, that just give you favor and, and you don't think about it at the time, but man, it's really God's hand putting being upon your life and causing you to be blessed when other people are struggling to get the blessings of God. And uh, can you think of a time that you've had favor that you're like, man, that was that was the Lord. We couldn't have gotten that without him. We wouldn't have received that without him. I mean, I can, you know, can you think of a time off the top of your head that you remember that or, or are you just in shock and awe? <laughs> are you in shock and awe? Yeah. You're in shock and awe. <laughs> She's in shock and awe. So just, I mean, think about the goodness of God and think about all of the times that God has blessed you. Yeah. And was able, we were able to do things that we normally wouldn't be able to do without God. Right. You know, our kids being saved and protected. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I can think of a time when my kids were in a car accident with, with you. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, that guy was going how fast? And it was crazy fast. And all of a sudden... Uh, he ends up hitting them in the back and none of them were really injured. None of them were really hurt. And, uh, you know, and we just, and, and then it was really cool. Remember we go in to get it fixed. They found a tailgate, the same color. Right. We didn't have to have it painted, which saved us money. The favor all the way around. Jeremiah was in a, in a, in a car pile up here just a few months ago. And, uh, so thankful that he was not harmed. It was like a, what, seven or eight car pile up mm -hmm. and somebody was driving crazy fast, hit five other people. And, you know, God will, God, God protected him and kept him. You know, you just think about things that God does for you and, and you just, it, it is, it is a great thing. And, uh, the last thing I want to tell you is God is too faithful to fail. You know, God is too faithful to fail. And I want you guys to remember that God is too faithful to fail. He's too faithful to, to come up short. And, uh, and I, I think that's, that's a powerful thing to remember. And uh, don't you believe that? That God is too faithful to fail. So here we go. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to take a few prayer requests, and uh, I'm going to I'm going to take about uh, now. My comments are a tad bit delayed, so uh, it's going to take me a minute to catch up. So, but I also want to. If you have any question for Crystal, if you have any question for me, if you have a biblical question, uh, if you have a family question, uh, if you have any kind of questions like that at all, you're more than welcome to ask us. Uh, I will, I will screen those questions and make sure they are answerable. And uh, then we'll move right into uh, at the same, or prayer requests. And we want to pray with you on the air live today. And uh, we want to make that a powerful thing. So do you have anything you want to tell the people before we get started? Uh, just a scripture that keeps coming back. Yeah. Um, well, and a song, I should say. Right. <laughs> but um, just to remember, the song's really been in my spirit. All his promises are yes and amen. Amen. 
So oh. that just kind of goes along with what you're talking about today. All God's promises are yes and amen. Amen. Isn't, isn't that so true? Everything, you know, God is for us, not against us. He wants to be so faithful in us. All right, so uh, let's let's go ahead and get started. We have any prayer requests, uh, you can type those in the comment section. We're going to pray live on the air. Or if you have any questions, go ahead and ask those. And I'm going to wait just a couple of minutes, and uh, then we're going to get right into that. And uh, for those of you that are on the podcast, we love you. Be blessed. Less, we'll talk to you later. And uh, so if there's anybody else that wants to ask a question or get a prayer request, uh, I want to go ahead and um, just go ahead and give you an opportunity to ask or give a prayer request or ask a question. Uh, you can follow, uh, what's your Pinterest handle for your recipes? Like where you can, find, how do they find you on Pinterest? I don't know. Search me. Uh, Crystal Strong Crystal's on wrong. Pinterest. I don't know what the name is. Uh, Crystal Strong is I should be on Pinterest. She's got all kinds of recipes on there. She's got all kinds of cool stuff on there for T-shirts, and uh, that's all kinds of things uh, on there that you can find. Strong Thirty One Threads is her Facebook handle. Uh, you can find her there. Any orders uh, that you wanna wanna do that, uh, you're more than welcome to do that. So okay, questions and answers. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a couple of minutes or prayer requests. Go ahead and post those, and we're gonna wait uh, wait for you just a second. And uh, please pray for Zach. He is in federal prison. Okay, we can do that right now. Um, Gene, we're going to go ahead and pray for Zach. And uh, we're just going to pray for you. My daughter's also in the studio today, so we're going to all join together where two or three are gathered together. And all of you guys watching us on the air, we're just going to go ahead and pray for uh, Zach right now. And uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna ask God to be with him, Father. I just come to you for Zach, and I just pray that your anointing would be with him. And Lord, I just pray that you would make a way where there seems to be no way. God, you would get him out earlier than he thinks. You would work out anything that the enemy has brought against him. And Lord, I just thank you that you number one restore his life, you restore his mind. And Father, I thank you that the anointing of the Holy Ghost would be with him, strengthen him, guide him, and the power of God. Uh, just be with her, and I thank you for it. I praise you for it, and be with Zach. Be be with the mom, God. That you just the, the mother for Zach, God. I just thank you that you're with her, and you bless Miss uh, Brother Zach, and you touch him and strengthen him in Jesus' name. And everybody said Amen and Amen. Kim McCracken, we're gonna pray for you. I don't know what to pray for, but God knows. Lord, I just pray that you send angels to Kim right now. I pray that you anoint her, you bless her, you strengthen her, and God, I thank you that God, your angelic presence would be with her. And Lord, I thank you and I praise you that favor would find her life. And God, you would touch her body, you would touch her mind. That I just come against any fear, any worry, any anxiety. And uh, we just bless her right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And we'll give you all the thanks. We'll give you all the praise in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said amen and amen. All right, anybody got any questions for Crystal? Anybody got any comments for Crystal? Or uh, let's see, help me pray for my daughter. She's in a dangerous relationship and won't leave and she moved to Ohio. Okay, we can do that, Jill. We're going to pray for that right now. Father, I just come to you for Jill. And I just pray that you just help her in this relationship. Father, give her courage, give her strength, give her ability. And Father, I just thank you that you put in her heart a longing, God, to return home. Put in a longing, Father God, for the anointing of the Holy Ghost, that you would begin to move, you would begin to strengthen, you would begin to fill, God, every part of her life with joy, comfort, and abilities. And I'll give you all the thanks, I'll give you all the praise, and that everyone said amen. And amen. All right, let's uh, let's pray for. Let's see. I saw another prayer request on here. Uh, let's see, Pam. Uh, we're gonna pray for Pam right now. And uh, Father, I thank you and I praise you right now for Pam and her family that you would touch her, you would strengthen her. Uh, no, Richard, this is Richard's sister. Okay, Father, I thank you and I pray that you would touch them and strengthen them, Pam and her family. That you would anoint them, bless them, cover them with your angelic protection. I plead the blood upon them. I plead the blood upon her family. I decree it and I declare it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And amen. All right. Jeff and Cindy need prayer to be healthy enough to get back to work. We will pray for that right now. Father, uh, Crystal and I just come together in one mind and in one accord, and we come against every sickness. God, we send healing angels to Jeff and Cindy right now. Father God, I pray that you touch and you fill, and God, you strengthen their bodies. I come against every str every weakness, every sickness, every demonic spirit that would harm their bodies, and I command the healing power to 
to be filled and touch their bodies in Jesus name and everybody said amen I plead the blood upon them and upon their bodies get them back to work quickly raise them up God in Jesus name all right Pamela we're going to pray for your daughter and uh, we're going to pray that she be saved right now father we just come to you God I pray for Amanda right now that you would send someone her way to share with her the gospel God let a Facebook post come up with someone preaching in it God let a friend tell her about Jesus God whatever it is God I pray right now by the power and the anointing of God to move and flow for Amanda God let her be saved we just send angels to bring her into the kingdom of God we send angels to bring her into the kingdom of God we send angels to send her peace and anointing in her life and I'll give you thanks and praise for that in Jesus name amen anybody all right all right any other prayer requests or questions uh, we want to take prayer requests uh, a couple of more minutes and then we want to take uh, any questions any ministry it could be funny questions it'd be questions about life it can be questions about crystal it can be questions about crystal and I we're gonna give you just a couple of minutes to ask us anything that you want to ask and uh, we want to give you uh, we want to give you any opportunity to ask us anything that you want to ask about Crystal's business, ask it how she puts up with me, ask uh, anything that you want to have. Uh, all right, uh, let's see. Sherry, Sherry Miller, okay, that you can lose weight for your knee, okay, and your knee would be healed. I'm going to pray for you right now, Sherry. Father, in Jesus' name, I come to you for Sherry, and I pray. Uh, thank you, Lord Jesus, that you just touch her body, you strengthen her body, you heal her body. God, help her. God, give her the mind to prosper. In God, let her not be hungry and thirsty for processed sugars and foods. God, I pray that she'll be only hungry for healthy things, the things that she needs in her body, that you would heal her knee, you would raise her up in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, Kim, we'll keep believing you. Alexa Manis asks, Crystal, why are you so cute? Aw, that's so <laughs> sweet. Thank you. <laughs> I was just telling her last night, Alexa, that I I cannot um I cannot uh imagine my life without her and I was just telling her last night I was so blessed and graced to be able to meet you I said you could have had any guy in the world because you're that perfect but it was so awesome that God allowed me to be able to be uh, I said I it's such an honor to be your husband and uh, she is truly one of the best people in the entire world that I've ever known and uh, I love her with my whole heart and you're right she is dang cute <laughs> Uh, let's see. Is Crystal going to come with, come with me sometimes to Jesus mission? Yes, we will work that out where she can come with us and be a part of, uh, some services that we do at Jesus mission. The next time I come there, it's been we a long time since I've been there. It's been a very long time. I will try to work that out. Uh, that, uh, for those of you that don't know, Crystal is going to be with me. Uh, yes, Carol. Thank you. Uh, she is going to be with me at Lightgate Church in October. Uh, she's going to be with me at that that service on Sunday, and then um, I don't. Know, are, Hot she is going to be with me at Hot Springs. So yes, uh, so she will be with me on the next couple of meetings. Yes, uh, her business, Cindy. It is a T-shirt, vinyl business, and decal business, and it's strong. Thirty-one threads. You can find it on Facebook. She can make you any T-shirt. Uh, she can make you any coffee cup. And before long, we don't know how we're going to work this out, but uh, I think I'm going to start selling some cold brew. Uh, I've been making some and been uh, making some recipes up. Uh, you'll have huh. to. Coffee, cold brew coffee. <laughs> so it's gonna be it's gonna be SSM cold brew coffee, and uh, it's gonna be really awesome. And uh, so yeah, uh, it's gonna be really good. Yes, she is a good woman for putting up with me, but uh, I do want to say that I am a good man. You are a very good man. So I'm not that bad, Carol. Though you make the world not think I'm horrible. So, uh, but anyway, you can find her on Strong Thirty One Threads. Uh, you can look her up and uh, find her. You can order anything uh, through that, and she she has it out pretty quick. Any other questions for us in the ministry? Uh, 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 any any ministry questions? Any Bible questions? Uh, anything that you want to do, uh, 
ask us about ministry, ask us about life. Uh, we will answer those questions, uh, and and then if not, we're gonna we're gonna let you go. And uh, when and where are we going to be in Hot Springs? We're going to be at uh, the Pastor Ark. the Ark. We're going to be at the Ark with Pastor Gary Jennings. I think it's October seventeenth and eighteenth. Mm-hmm. That's a Saturday night and a Sunday morning and a Sunday night. Uh, we're going to be in Hot Springs there, and uh, it's going to be an awesome time uh, in the Lord. It's going to be a great time, and we're gonna we're gonna have an awesome, awesome, awesome time in the Lord there. So Crystal will be, will be with us, and uh, I love you too, Carol. <laughs> I love you too, even though you made me look horrible. But I love you anyway. I forgive you. So, uh, any anybody else? Any any anything else that anybody wants to ask us about ministry? Ask us about life. Uh, ask us about uh, any part of any any part of our life that's going on. It's it's a great time uh, to be in the Lord. If not, we're gonna let you go. Uh, I'll wait a couple of more minutes. And uh, while I'm waiting a couple of more minutes for any other comments, here's what I'd like to do today. I would like you guys, uh, I, first of all, I just want to say thank you to all of our partners. I want to say thank you to everybody that is uh, s- being a part of our ministry. We can't do what we do without you. And I just want to tell you that uh, it is the power of God with us uh, that strengthens us, but also it's our partners, all of our givers, all the people that are involved in us. I want to thank you personally for uh, sowing into this. Stronger Every Day is an outreach of Standing Strong Ministries. Uh, we we, because of our partners, we're able to go take meetings that we normally wouldn't be able to take, and we're able to do what we're normally able not to do. Uh, so with that, I want to thank you guys so much uh, for doing that, and I also want to give you an opportunity to sow into uh, Standing Strong Ministries, and uh, you can do that several ways today by sowing a seed to us if this ministry has been a blessing to you in any way. Just uh, honestly, earnestly seek the Lord and just ask Him what He would have you to do, if any at all. And uh, we're not going to beg, we're not going to plead, we just want to put it out there. And uh, here's several ways to do that. You can pound, donate, and uh, you can act, you can actually uh, seriously hit just pound, donate, watching Facebook, and that link will come back to you after the broadcast is over. You can go in and fill out that link, and you can do that. Also, uh, you can text the word STRONG to 888 888- Three six four 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 eight three, and uh, you can donate that way. Uh, you can also cash app or Venmo us. Is it Venmo or Vimeo? Venmo. Venmo. You can cash app or Venmo us at SSM Strong. That's on both of those. SSM Strong at cash app or Ven- or Venmo. And uh, if you don't want to do that, you can always go to our website at standingstrongministries.org. Sh- uh, you can go to my website at standingstrongministries.org. And uh, you can also email me your prayer request too at sean at standingstrongministries.org. And uh, that's my email. And uh, so we want to thank you. We want to honor you. We want to bless you today and uh, we want to let you know that we can't do this without you we want to thank you we want to honor you and tell you that you are such a part of our lives and we are praying for you on a consistent basis that all of our partners uh, will be so so blessed and uh, honor God uh, and God will honor every part of your life and uh, so with that I'm gonna say uh, good good goodbye to you from the show today we ask that god richly bless you and remember today that stronger every day the coffee is strong but the word of god makes you stronger and i want you to also remember something good is going to happen in your life today i'm going to put that on a shirt i've got several shirts i'm getting ready to start bringing one of one of them is uh holy ghost uh, holy go- uh, tongue talking gun toter. It's going to have a little shield right at the top, and then I'm going to make one that says it's going to be our one of our ministry statements. Something good is going to happen in your life today, and remember that God is always going to do great things for you. We love you, we honor you, we appreciate you, and with that, I want to thank you. We love you, and just tell them bye bye. Bye. I said bye. <laughs>